Hi, guys. Hello. Welcome to the episode two of our webcast. Yes, welcome. We're doing a Q&A and toy show. Toy show tour. tour. That's hard to say. Try to say that three times in a row. Toy, toy show, tour. show tour. It's not even toy show. Toy, it's show toy, tour. Room. toy room tour. Toy room tour. Toy room tour. <laughs> we are actually losing our minds. Just a disclaimer, we're not toy experts. Just here because we love toys, just like you guys. I did not agree to that statement. We are toy experts. Just him. Long time <laughs> toy experts. No, no, I think that's a good thing to say because, um, you know, although we do our research on our toys mm-hmm. and we do know a lot because we've seen a lot come through our hands and at the toy shows and stuff, we, we don't know everything. So we yeah, can make some mistakes. Yeah. And if we do see a mistake that we've made, please put it in the comments and then we can address it on a future show. Here comes the first question. Okay, so this this one comes to us from Pete. He says on the previous episode one video, it says, Great video, Jomi. That's what some people call us, our two names together. Are you going to show more progress videos or images of the store? Are we? Are we? <laughs> I don't know. It's a huge secret at the moment. Yeah, Only a, a few people have been yeah. in there. It's yeah. pretty exciting. Uh, it's, it's one of the neatest places in Barrie. That's for sure. We can't wait to just kind of open the door so you can come in and shop for your cool collectibles, but at the same time, you're going to be able to have coffee, snacks, play some games, enjoy the wizard's castle that we have created in there. Yeah. We'll work so hard to make it look really good for you guys. So, so we will show you a few sneak peeks. If Mm -hmm. you go and check out our Instagram and Facebook, we put some there, but we will, Put some more because yeah. there's lots more to show you. Yeah. Thanks, Pete. Is that a question? <laughs> well, you can just read it. It's not quite a question, but it is a question. There's a question implied in it. Okay. So the second one is from Rory. I can't wait to see your toy room. Yeah. And then, so I think there's a question in there, even though it's not phrased as a question, yeah. it's like, can we see the toy room? So uh, how about we go look at the toy room? Let's go. Welcome to my toy room. Whoa! These are all my Funko Pops. My god. Are they all Harry Potter? Um, no, actually. Most of them are Harry Potter. Most of them are Harry Potter. Wow. And this is the first Funko Pop that I bought. Okay. Harry Potter number one. Harry Potter number one. Mm-hmm. This is uh, yeah, where it all started. Awesome. So this is where it all started. <laughs> this is the obsession began there. Okay, tell me about some of the stuff that I'm looking at here. Okay, which one of these is your favorite? I would say that my favorite would be the uh, Harry Potter and Broomstick. It's up there. Oh, I see them. Pretty cool. Okay. And you got some of the horror figures. And we also have this. Uh, what is that? I think this is our make me. Oh, yeah, this is a nun. Yeah, this is. Yeah. Is this me? This not for everybody. Okay. And we got. Look at this guy. We also have Godzilla. And we also have this one. I got it from the, it's the, the Philippines. Philippines? When, I, uh, when, I, when I went home for vacation. Mm-hmm. So, Tricycle, it's, it's basically the, one of the means of transportation back home. Awesome. Is this my Godzilla? Yes, that's for Godzilla. I think that's the only toy. I think that's the only Funko Pop that I own. Oh, yeah. yeah I also own these guys. Where did they come? The Adams Family. Family. And don't I have, like, Pickle Rick and stuff, too? Oh, and down here, Mickey Mouse. Oh, right there. Okay, these are Bruce Lee. Oh, down here, there's Pickle Rick. And these are the, the Rocky Horror. So we also have the Horror Funko Pops over here. Yeah. We both are. These are from the, It, right? The yeah, um, It. And then there's some dinosaurs, of course. Yeah, it's like some Jurassic World. Some more yeah, some horror more figures days. down here. Yeah, Jason, Annabelle, of course. She's uh, <laughs> I, I know people are terrified of her, but I find her really cute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who's your favorite horror character? Ta da! This dude. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's cool. Okay, so which one is the most expensive Uncle Pop? It's uh, the Cornish Pixie, Mandrake, and the Grindelow. Also, that Luna Lovegood over there, she's pretty expensive. She's like probably oh, between okay. $100 to 150 so this is also one of my favorites. It's uh, Bogart as a snake. Okay. A and this is neat. Then the Django Fett. And we also have a Millennium Falcon over here. That's the little one. So like, yeah, from uh, uh, Han Solo. Yeah, see that. This little guy. Mm-hmm. That's a pretty snap. This is a phone holder. A phone holder. Nice. And. Uh, so also here, I got like these comics. Mm-hmm. I'm not a big fan of comics, but I only got these because, uh, um... <laughs> Spit it out! This is the first Filipino uh, superhero appeared in a Marvel comic. <laughs> yes, you did it! And, <laughs> it was just hard. Uh, her name is Pearl Kana. Wait, I need to look at these guys. Well, those 
I think you got a serious Pokemon love going on here, right? I love uh, Pokemon, but just the first generation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Voltron. Voltron, oh, I grew up watching Volt Voltron, that's why I got him. You know, when you started to collect these way back in the day, I was always thinking, oh, these are gonna go nowhere. These are, these are garbage. But you know what? People said that about Star Wars figures, and now look. This is friend, friend, we're gray back, hanging out with an alien. The alien. <laughs> hey, that alien figure, that is awesome. Those are hard to find. Really? And also, Gavit over here. And that's from the Lego oh, that's movie. That's what you like the movie, yeah. Cool, okay, so then we got the castle. That's the Gryffindor common room, which is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I got that for uh, my birthday. And gift it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good birthday present. Right. Here comes a Funko Pop that is signed by... Bonnie Wright. She plays Ginny Reasley. Right, plays Ginny Reasley. And you got this at Transfigured Town. Transfigured Town. And you life. were able to meet her. Okay, what are we looking at here? There's all I these. Also have, uh, yeah, I also have uh, many. quite an obsession with uh, mini figures, Lego mini figures. Well, that's cool. cool. Well, this guy is one of my favorites, General Grievous. I think you love him too. And then over here, Darth Maul with, with the mechanical legs. Here's some of the Harry Potter figures, the dolls in the boxes. They're great, eh? And then? Yeah, this is the mascot of Jollibee, and uh, for you out there who don't know who Jollibee is, Jollibee is, uh, is a fast food chain in the Philippines, it's very famous. It's like McDonald's here in Canada, except that, you know, everyone, everyone wants to go to Jollibee. Right? <laughs> really There's looking, one in Toronto now, yeah, so really looking forward to Jollibee. we can go there. Uh, when, when this pandemic is over, I'm pretty sure we're going to Toronto, and it's the Jollibee in Toronto. <laughs> one more time. <laughs> when this pandemic is over, I'm pretty sure we're going to Toronto to try out Jollibee. Yes. There's the bee guy. Um, this is, yeah, so far this is, I think, one of our most expensive ones. She's just probably $40 or $50. Maybe. Really? Yeah. Now look at this. Batman. <laughs> Batman mermaid. <laughs> suit, and then Batman in tutu. In tutu. Nice. <laughs> and I'm a proud Gryffindor. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for showing us the toy room. This has been really good. And you might think, like, I knew what everything was in here because this is, I live in this house too, but this is um, not my room. <laughs> I'm not allowed to touch anything in here. No, that's not true. Yeah, like, <laughs> I'm not allowed to take them out of this room. <laughs> they all stay in here. Thanks, Rory, for your question. <laughs> comes another question. This one comes from G Wiz. G Wiz. G Wiz asks, "What is the most common toy removed from people's bodies?" Interesting question. <laughs> okay, I think this is. I think he's trying to get us to talk about something that we don't want to talk about on the show. It's like you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like some Hot Wheels car parked in the garage, if you know what I mean. The most common toy removed from people's bodies is Lego. Yeah, I would totally agree with that. Because, you know, <laughs> pushing it up your nose, putting it in your ear, those little tiny pieces, putting it in your mouth and chewing on it. I think one of my brothers swallowed Lego mm. when uh, we were kids. Mm. Or even like one of those uh, pellet gun bullets, is that what you call it? Pellet gun oh, the BBs. Those, those little BBs. Yes, yeah. That's not really a toy, is it? Well, I guess it's it a is. Toy. It's a it toy is. Yeah. They used to be toys. Now they're weapons. Yeah. Well. Gee whiz, I hope that was a good enough answer for you. Um, and try to prove us wrong. Go ahead and do your research. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. And uh, thank you for all the questions. And uh, we do hope that you enjoyed our uh, episode two of our webcast. Yes, we hope that you did. Um, so if you did, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, you could probably hit subscribe somewhere along there on your screen, and you'll be surely notified of any new videos and webcasts that we post. Also, please check out our Facebook and Instagram page at Freaky Wizard Toys. Uh, we did get one question that um, caused a lot of conversation in our house. And it's so good that we are going to do an entire episode on that question. And we stay tuned and we will answer that one in time. Thank you and see you next week. Yep. See you Bye. next week. Bye.